Hello guys and welcome to this Unreal Reloaded HD tutorial. My personal best game ever made Unreal. The game dates back to 1998 already. Meaning the game is 16 years old already, can you believe that? 16 years. With that I have to say, time is finally catching up with Unreal. If you would play an installer right now it would look a little bit outdated. But back then this was probably the most beautiful looking game ever made. It showed absolutely the best quality of that time 3 dfx graphic cards. Well to get full potential out of the old Unreal game we are going to need the more advanced engine from Unreal Tournament. And with that I mean the first Unreal Tournament from 1999. I got to admit I've played both games for 10 years long. That's how well these games aged. Well, so again you are going to need Unreal Tournament as well. The only thing we are going to need from Unreal are just its maps, some textures and some other files. The source for both games doesn't really matter. If you get them on Steam or any other digital platform, or still got the discs, that will all do fine. Alright, so dust off your discs or your digital copy of Unreal and Unreal Tournament and let's get started. Well, I myself actually have a lot of copies of Unreal and Unreal Tournament legally. The version I am going to use now is from the good old games where I bought an Unreal pack once. So our first step is to install Unreal Tournament itself. So get your disk or install it from Steam or any other digital service like I have from the good old games. Please note that your installation menu looks a little bit different if you're using the disk or Steam. This is the window you only have if you got the good old games version. Anyway, install Unreal Tournament and wait for it to be installed. Once your Unreal Tournament finished installing, you should get the following screen. From here select Show All Devices and select OpenGL. We are going to update this OpenGL version later on. For now just start the game and test if it works. Once you are in game, Unreal Tournament with the OpenGL allows you to change your resolution to Full HD. Once you finish testing, go to PrettCalibur.com, go to the game section and then go to Unreal. From there, download the PrettCalibur.com Unreal pack. Once you finish downloading, make sure you extract the package. Then go to into the folder and here you can see a lot of files. Well the first file we are going to install is the latest Unreal Tournament patch. This is version 436. There is a beta patch available but this is the latest stable version. Make sure you insert the disk to get it patched properly. I already have my version patched. Now extract the latest Unreal Tournament OpenGL driver. Extract it here and just copy the DLL file. Then go to your Unreal Tournament game folder. This is the folder where you have installed Unreal Tournament. Then go to system and paste the file in there. Make sure you override the original OpenGL file. After that it is time to install the second CD textures. If you have the Unreal Tournament copy edition you can find it as well on the second CD. Anyway open up the package and only select the UTX files. Copy them and then go to your Unreal Tournament folder to your textures folder and paste them in there. These are some additional bonus textures. Once you did paste the textures, go back to your downloaded PrettCalibur.com Unreal package. The next thing that we are going to install from the package is the UMod browser. You only have to use it if you can't install the OMod files. An OMod file is an Unreal Tournament mod file, which normally is just a double click installer. However, a lot of times OMod files are not being recognized anymore and we have to manually install the files from the OMOD ourselves. To give an example, I changed the file association to Unreal Tournament and when I try to install an OMOD it does not work, so let's open up the UMOD browser because we are going to need it. So open up the uh, exe file, the UMOD browser and it will, once it extracts files it will save it uh, normally to ctemp, so let's open up old school, the old school UMOD. 
and before we do this you might want to try to double click it first because maybe OMAS work for you and then you can skip this progress else open up the human brush select like now and uh, brush to the folder where you can find old school at UMAT. it's in the pretcalibrator.com unreal package here you can see all the files that the OMAT normally would install we have to extract it ourselves so now it's been extracted to C temp so go to that folder C temp and open up the system folder from here copy all the files and now we have to go to our unreal tournament folder again to the system folder and paste it in here manually as you can see normally the OMAD would install the correct files in the system folder itself if it's asking to override the files make sure you select yes to all then go back to the downloaded folder and go back to help from here copy the files as well then go to your unreal tournament folder go to the help folder and paste it in here as well else some of the required help functions may not work properly or some images may not be shown properly next up we are going to need some files from unreal and i am going to install the unreal from good old games because i do not have the cd at hand if you also only have a digital version then you got to install unreal as well if you do have the cd version then you don't have to install unreal because you can get the files from the cd once we copy the required files from Unreal, we can just uninstall the game afterwards. We are only going to need Unreal Tournament because in there we are going to copy all the Unreal files that we are going to need. So once Unreal finished installing or you got the disk, we are now going to copy the following files. So go to your installed Unreal folder and first let's open up Maps. And in this folder maps, just make sure you copy all the UNR files. The folder I got here is just for Operation Nepali Expansion Pack. Leave that and just copy only the original Unreal maps. So copy them, so all the UNR files. And once you've copied them, you can go to your Unreal Tournament folder. Then go to your maps folder and paste all the maps from Unreal into your Unreal Tournament folder. If it's been asking to uh, replace the entry that you enter, do not replace it because it is for Unreal Tournament. Do the same for music. So open it up and select all the UMX files. Copy them. Then go to your Unreal Tournament game folder. Go there to the folder music and paste all the music files in it. You could, if it's asking to replace the files, select no. This is because the files should be the same and it's the same music. Then go back to the Unreal folder. Go to the sounds folder, select and copy all the sounds uh, files, then go to your Unreal Tournament folder, go there to the sounds folder and paste all the sounds in it. And here also select um, to skip the uh, replacement. Once you finish pasting the sounds, go back to the Unreal folder and from there select the next folder which should be textures. Select all the UTX files, copy them, then go back to your Unreal Tournament folder select the texture there as well and paste it and if it's asking to override files make sure you absolutely select no because the unreal tournament textures are way better than the original unreal textures so if you got the unreal cd version you could just copy those files from the cd itself after this it is now safe to uninstall unreal if you install it just like me now it is time to test if we can play Unreal under Unreal Tournament with the old school mod. So start Unreal Tournament, not Unreal, and let's check it out. Alright, first uh, we have to enable old school amp. So go to the mod section and click on enable old school amp. Then press escape and go to the old school configuration. There is some stuff that we can configure now. It is just mostly what you prefer, but I like the old Unreal weapons, so check the boxes what you prefer I personally like the Unreal Mini Gun so I do select that one then check out the options on the single player tab and on this this is also just what you prefer I personally prefer the original Unreal items not the Unreal Tournament ones when you go to the music tab it is uh, kinda cool because you can just use it as a jukebox while waiting in the menu if you go to the keys tab you can see that there are some additional keys that you can configure now 
In example, activate if you get it, activate your translocator or an other item in Unreal. It is all pretty straightforward. Once you did the configuration, it is time to test out if Unreal works under old school. So go to the game section and select new single play game. As you can see here, the original Unreal episode has now been available. If you got some other custom single player maps, you can play it too, but just select your original Unreal episode and check out if the flyby works. If the flyby works, it means your Unreal works. Then just press escape, then go to new single player game again, on the game section, new single player game, and here you can also click on player setup. And from here you can customize your single player character. This is the player model that will be used in Unreal. If you would use the third person uh, command in your console, you would see that I am right. And then you can click on close and exit Unreal Tournament. Go back to your windows and create a new folder somewhere and name it something like Old Unreal Tournament Textures Backup or Old Unreal Textures Backup. Then also create a new folder and name it something like New Textures. Once you finish creating the two folders, go to your Unreal Tournament folder, to your Textures folder, and from here select all the textures and copy them, and then go back to your created uh, old textures backup folder. Then just paste the textures in there. If something ever goes wrong with the textures, you can just uh, put all those textures back. After that, go to prettycolorado.com, then go to the Unreal section, and this tutorial, the video tutorial is not available since we are creating it. And then go and download the first texture pack and open it up in a new tab. It are the high-end master files. We are going to download that first. So open the page up in a new tab. And on here you can see all the parts that we need to download. Download and save the parts into your new textures folder. And make sure you download all of the parts. So download the second part, the third, fourth and fifth. It are quite big texture files, so please be patient. Once you finish downloading, go to your folder where the downloaded texture files are and create a new folder in it. Name it something like High End. We are doing this so we can easier distinguish the High End textures with the Extreme textures. So copy paste or drag and drop these textures into the High End and then create a new folder and name it something like Ultra. This is where our Ultra textures are going to be. Then go back to prettycalibur.com and open up the ultra textures in a new tab. Now these are quite a lot of files that you got to download. It are just single UTX files, single texture files, but they are completely redone. From what I remember, some of the texture files individually are just as large as Unreal was itself. Can you believe that? These texture files are hundreds of megabytes at piece. That is how great the texture quality is. Well, this is absolutely going to take the most time from you. Make sure you download all the individual Ultra texture packs. Make sure to check out one of the four mirrors that are standing right next to it. And make sure you save these textures in the Ultra folder. So again, this is going to take a while. So once these ultra textures finally finish downloading, go to your downloaded high-end texture pack first. Then make sure you select all the high-end files and just extract them right here until all the UTX files have been extracted. The, when it's asking to override some of the readme files, just select yes to all. Once all the UTX files have been extracted, make sure to select all the UTX files. Just ignore these readme files, they're just copyright information. Then select all the UTX files, copy them, or cut them, just what you prefer. I cut them, then go to uh, your Unreal Tournament folder, go to your Textures folder, and there paste and make sure you now overwrite all the texture files, because we want to use these high-end textures. Once the texture is finished copying, start Unreal and Unreal Tournament and verify you don't get crashes once you start a new episode. You probably got some flickering or real looking textures. This is because we have to enable the S3TC texture. To do that, go to your system folder and open up your Unreal Tournament.ini. Then press Ctrl F to search and search for S3TC. Then once you find the value, make sure you uh, 
change false into true so use f3tc is true then save the ini file close it and now you can try again starting unreal tournament to see if it works now let's install the ultra textures go to your ultra folder and extract all the textures in there since these textures are huge it is going to take a while once all the ultra textures have been extracted make sure you only select the UTX files if all your file types are standing right through each other you can also use the sort option and sort them by type to filter out the UTX files then go to your Unreal Tournament folder once you're in there go to your textures folder paste the textures in there and make sure you replace the old then just wait for these ultra textures to be pasted onto the textures folder once the ultra textures finished copying make sure you check it out in your Unreal Tournament one last time to make sure it doesn't crash there is one last thing that we still have to do. Go to PrettyColorWorld.com and download the INI guide. Once you extracted the file you can see these pages. Then go to your Unreal Tournament folder, then your System folder and open up Unreal Tournament.ini. Now the only thing you have to do is uh, get the page and make sure you change the values the same as on the page. These pages are from a guy that Rainer Z made. All credits go to him for this. So again, check all these pages and change the values to your own Unreal Tournament.ini. On the first page you can increase your catch max size and do some of the game engine changes. On the second page you will um, dramatically improve your audio from Unreal Tournament and also for Unreal in this case. And on the third and fourth page you can find the OpenGL settings that are the most essential. These OpenGL settings are absolutely required to get the best out of the Unreal Tournament engine. With this I also want to say please be careful when, once you start editing your OpenGL settings. Make sure you check you got the right OpenGL column. So with that I mean make sure you do these changes under OpenGL and not uh, accidentally under Direct3D or Software Mode. Alright, and the last page on the Ini Tweaking Guide covers the field of view bug. This bug is being caused because of the bigger widescreen resolutions we got these days. But the only thing you got to do here is just change the simple value and it should work. And that should be about it. Now let's start Unreal under Unreal Tournament and see how it looks. I will end the video with just playing a little bit of the opening sequence. So thanks for watching and if you have any questions please let me know. Bye guys and see you on the next video. Prisoners 8, 4, 9. Prisoners 4, Okay. <laughs>